Hey, welcome back to Educator.com's AP Music Theory course. Today's lesson is on cadences. So for this lesson, we're just going to go over different cadence types and practice writing them in different keys. So the first one we'll go over is the perfect authentic cadence, and then we'll look at imperfect authentic cadences, and then we'll look at what half cadences are, plagal cadence, and finally the deceptive cadence at the end. So the first one to look at is the perfect authentic cadence, and of course this is uh, the most final sounding and uh, complete cadence, so of course it involves the dominant chord uh, resolving to the tonic chord. So if we're in good old C major, this is going to be a 5 chord moving to a 1 chord, but there's some other uh, features of it that make it perfect as opposed to the imperfect one we'll look at next. So let's start with the bass line, which is always a given here, G to C. And then what's important about this cadence is that in the melody, the uppermost voice, the soprano, in the uh, final chord, we have always have the first scale degree, or of course the root. So we can work backwards from here. Maybe we had um, the B here moving to the C, and then the G staying on G, and then D, moving up to an E. So this would be an example of a perfect authentic cadence. Uh, let's look at one of these in minor. So what about D minor? So in D minor, of course, remember the 5 is always uh, altered to become a major chord in minor, especially when we're talking about cadences. So we'll start with bass line, A to D. And then we know that it's perfect authentic, so we need one in the top voice. So, and maybe this time it was approached, uh, let's see. Well, let's keep it C sharp. So there's the altered leading tone <clears throat> going up to D. And then we have <clears throat> a and an E, and so maybe the E moves down to D, and the A moves down to F, and this gives us a complete chord. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. Let's see. So I forgot to keep the common tone. So there's that. <clears throat> a staying with A, and the E goes up a half step to F. And this looks like a C, but it's a D. So there's the perfect authentic cadence, one in major, one in minor.